Hey everyone, once again welcome back. In the previous video, we are submitting our form, our points form here, and we are receiving the username and points here, right? So now the time is to store these points uh, into the database, right? So before saving them into the database, we need to think about this that uh, these are the uh, parameters which we required are validated or not right so what is the mean of validation so for example here this one is a form and user some enter some string here our user can pass something different from here so we need to validate this on the we can validate this on the on the front end side and also back end side too right so here you think about this we cannot enter the uh enter the string here right so we can only enter the number right instead of this e only e is a acceptable here and uh, user can pass the you know, choose the user here but user can play around with this dom and pass the whatever value uh, they want right so just go here uh, change this to the text here and i'm passing the value so now this one accept all of the strings right and here in this case it's also accept some um, this one is for the username so just pass this here uh, at the app, right i'm just passing my name instead of my id right so just submit this out and it's returning diet and points right so this is not good thing i want to validate this data that this uh, username should contain only an id and then this points contain only integer numbers right so how to validate this so here in the controller we can easily validate them right but before uh, starting your logic here we need to follow the solid principle so what is solid solid is a rule which tell us that uh, our uh, single class is responsible for single task right so that's why we need to create a separate uh, form request and then uh, add this form request here so we will uh, uh, validate our user inputs into the separate file and then we will call this file here so if you are not familiar with the form request so i'm going to walk through this process so first i'm going to create the form request so how to create the form request the command is very simple php artisan make request right and then we need to specify the request name so in this case i want to i'm creating this request on the admin side and also i want to create this for the points so here now if i go to this http there is no request directory but when i will create some requests uh, only single uh, request so uh, request directory will be created right okay so here now i want to create the admin request so that's why I want to structure into the uh, I want to separate the admin request and user request right so that's why I'm creating an admin directory and inside the admin directory I want to create the point directory or you can also make this plural it's totally up to you uh, points or and then here I'm going to specify it's a create request because we are storing our points uh, for the update request we need the uh, admin points slash update request right so hit enter and yes directory is uh, created admin slash points and if i visit this uh, file so this basic stuff is added um, added by this uh, uh, by default functionality and this is the beauty of this command and you create a new request to manually so you need to write these things right its namespace its name and extend the form request and like this but if you will create this from the command line so you don't need to write anything okay just go here and uh, make this true so why i am uh, why always we need to make this true because we are authorizing that uh, you want to use this request if you will uh, not to make this true it will uh, throw an error uh, 403 error or something which is for unauthorized right okay so remember you need to make this true and there is another method which is rules 
so here you need to specify your uh, validation tools okay so validation first uh, key would be the palm attribute name right so here this one is a select box and this one contain a name attribute and this name is username so i will pass this same name here right user name and then here we need to add some validations right so i will uh, show you first to uh, um first to uh, uh, first uh, a way and then i will optimize this same way at why this one is not too too good okay just type required this one is our first validation that our this field should be uh, required and then this should be the integer right and uh, you can also apply the maximum here but in this case in, t in this integer case we don't need this right and uh, that's it right so this is the way to write um, to validation right so i will recommend you another way which is uh, uh, why i need this i will explain this here so for example here i want to add a custom rule so in laravel you can apply some custom rules right so for example you have a custom rules and uh, how you will uh, add your custom rules new uh, custom rule custom rule class right like this but this is not accepting so how you will add the custom rule so for this you need to always use this uh, array uh, array uh, you need to always use this array syntax why because we can also define the custom rule even you don't have any custom rules for now so you should still use this uh, array syntax why because maybe in the future uh, you have you created some custom rule so that's why you need to prefer this array syntax so you can add this without or uh, without changing your existing code right and here then in the second one you need to pass the integer like this so this is the way how you can write this and both are the same right if you write this in the pipe form so it's same if you write in the array it's also same and here if you have any custom rules so you can define your custom rule new custom rule class like this right so you can define your custom rule if you have or if you have in the future and the second one is uh, points and these points should be uh, required and then this should be also an integer right and you can also define its um, maximum limit or minimum limit right it's totally up to you okay uh, so now how to accept only positive number right so now let's search here uh, except uh, only uh, in this uh, series you will also learn that how to uh, uh, search on the google and uh, get the results only except only positive and teacher in laravel why my internet i think my internet is not working properly oh my god i think my internet is gone so that's why it's not working so let me troubleshoot my internet connection okay for this uh, i'm going to uh, implement this stuff here so this one is required and points is there so now this one is completed and uh, if i go here in the controller so let me close this controller here points controller so by default it to accept the default request which is which comes by default in the laravel i don't want to use this out i want to use this uh, uh, create request which i created right now so it's specifying that admin slash point slash request so hit enter on it and then this namespace is added at the top and by the way if you don't know how to add the namespace at the top i have full playlist uh, which name is vs code in laravel so find it on my channel where you will learn that how you can uh, make your editable uh, make your editor intelligent right so in this way you can add the namespace at the top switch it to the any of the files 
you can also add the spacer right and much more things okay i have added this out here save this one and uh, if i go here and give it a refresh so now this will be rolled back and yes this one is rolled back right but uh, i want to see the error what's the error so for example user is submitting this uh, form request we want to know that what's the error so for this we need to uh, catch these error and display them here right so for this uh, you don't need to worry about this laravel have uh, a badge which is uh, uh, used to collect uh, any of the errors so just type laravel any error and yes in my case it's populated here so i will explain it that how it's working okay this um, whenever some uh, some errors are there so laravel throw you know, laravel bound this in the error badge uh, this error uh, array contain the errors and here we are checking that if there is any error so we are looping through in it and then we are printing the error right and uh, here i am displaying all of the errors so now save this one and uh, i'm going to interpret uh, my value again here i want to make this uh, a diet right and uh, then also 20 submit this out and yes we are turned back and displaying username field must be an integer right so in this way we can properly validate the data and then uh, and uh, one one more query here that if user pass the integer value like uh, uh, these two users if i go here a user contain two and uh, three value but what if I pass this five value? So this will not be validated here, right? So how to make sure that this value is um, exist in the user table? And if it does not exist to return back uh, and show the message that this user doesn't exist, right? So in this way, we can also make our database secure and our application uh, applications uh, work smoothly right so here i'm going to first check that uh, if uh, i'm getting some id so user id and here i'm getting the getting it from user name right i'm getting it from the user name and uh, why i name this user name because when uh, this one is a uh, throwing some error here at the top so if i add this user id is required so our uh, our customer will be get confused because this one is a username field so where i need to pass the user id so that's why you need to name the same uh, here in the name attribute so this will uh, name attribute will be pulled here when there is some error okay uh, request to username and here i'm storing this id and uh, then i need to check this so user equal user model so find this in the user id right and then here you can also throw the 404 error by default by applying simple find or fail method right so it will uh, find the user and uh, fail this out so let me give it a try i want to explain it to you that uh, this is called yahoo so uh, submit this out and yes it's throwing 404 not found but it's not the actual error uh, which is not to uh, properly telling that uh, this thing is uh, this user does not exist in the database so how to uh, display a proper message so here return back and check that uh, i want to only find and uh, uh, throw some custom error so here i want to check that if there is no user right so then i want to return some error so return back uh, move the user back on the same page and then with error so this with error will add the badge right uh, badge of error and this will be marked in the for each loop here at the top right so this will be added in this uh, errors array right so when we add this with error flag here okay so here you need to run the enable 
uh, unable to find the user unable to find the record so use the journal uh, use a journal thing here not the user in future you can also use this for the multiple uh, you can also use this for the multiple times you can simply copy this and add this into the other one right otherwise if you specify the user here and you are doing this for the next time in the for the post we need to also specify this for the post like here i'm just uh, adding example here so you need to also write this post right so but if you add this record here so this one is uh, identical for both ones right so you don't need to write everything there to this specific record right so that's the way to save your time okay and one more thing here i will suggest you that whenever you are uh, whenever you are catching some error and showing them to the client so uh, the error is uh, here to the user and one more thing we need to do is uh, here to tell the client that uh, this error is happened so what's the next step to get rid of this situation so you need to also add this here in the error right and able to find the record please uh, uh, go back and uh, refresh uh, the web page and try again right if uh, still a problem persists persist contact with the administrator right save this one and now let's go here and change this value again username i'm going to update this kalia again to five let's just choose this kalia submit this and yes unable to find record please go back and refresh the web page and try again if still problem versus contact with administrator so this one is a descriptive method a descriptive message that uh, if uh, this problem is happening due to this one and how you can resolve this error right okay so here we are returning the error and then next we need to store these points into the specific user right so here we uh, on the above we find the user and now the time is to assign the points to this user so update and uh, then here we need to add this like this right update and here you want to update the points right so how many points you want to add here which is available here in the points right and after this when it's updated so oh, sorry when it's updated successfully so i want to uh, return this back on the um, on the same page or i need to go somewhere yes we can return this back on the same page okay so just go here first we need to throw a success message that this uh, error is uh, uh, this uh, user uh, have this points right so, so for example i didn't assign these points to this user so first we need to display a success message that these points are successfully assigned to this user so here for this you need to throw a session so i'm calling this session and then call this flash so now what's the difference between simple put session and flash so flash only pop up one time right so for example you want to display some notifications to so use this flash uh, uh, flash session so this will be automatically uh, after one uh, after once executing this so this will be automatically destroyed right but put session uh, isn't destroyed when you uh, uh, isn't destroyed uh, if you not uh, do it in your own way right so you need to manually kill this session otherwise it wouldn't destroy so here i'm passing the first session key and then second one contain the value that which um, value you want to display so i want to display that to uh, points uh, added in user account right so save this one and here after this return back right you can also return back or you can use this to route and pass the same route again okay save this one 
and uh, now let's go here give it a refresh and here i want to uh, assign some points to this it is our silva so now let's uh, open this database here uh, what's the name of this one so it's a reward system user and this it is a uh, don't have any points here this contains zero right so i want to assign these points to this it is a which is a silva and here i want to assign some points of 50 right so submit this request okay yes and there is no success message because we have added this on the back end but we forgot to display the message here right so now let's uh, give it a refresh and yes 50 points are added right so now uh, let's go here and here we have uh, status and then status right so this one is uh, alert uh, success right so remove this thing from there and this one is also alert success so here we are checking that if there is any uh, success uh, if there is this session is set so then we want to display this session here so this one is a value of session so save this one and here just give it a try add 10 more here submit and points added in user account right and if i go here and give it a refresh and yes it's added 10 right so it's wrong right so what it's doing here is it's adding only newer points right but we want to um, add new points into the existing one right so we need to update this thing here okay so before this here we need to collect the user existing points user existing existing points right and this one user points right so this one contain the user existing points and then here i want to uh, total uh, total points or you can directly pass this here user existing string point plus uh, the points which are coming from uh, from this request so these are the points so now uh, save these points here right so now it will calculate the total points and add this into the user account so for now we have only 10 uh, 10 points here so now let's add 20 more submit this out and yes points are added give it a refresh and yes now this uh, these points are 30 so now it's working as expected right so uh, before this we are submitting our this accept only positive integer and uh, our internet connection is gone so now let's give it a refresh and execute this out here you need to add numeric and then add this gt hero then this way this will work right so let me give it a try here gt0 oh, private for me from it before sending it to the request to our integer minimum zero you can also add the minimum zero here so this will also work so now let's go to the request create request and uh, here uh, if i go here in the points oops minimum minimum would be zero right it should not be less than zero so now let's go here to this if the law and here i want to uh, add the minus 10 right submit this out points must be at least zero or you can also specify that point must be at least one right so this is a good practice so minus 10 submit this points must be at least one right so if i go ahead and add this one submit this out and yes it's submitted successfully right so in this way you can add points to this user right okay that's great you did a great job and in the next video we will cover our next stuff and if you like this video uh, press the like button and i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys